Hey guys, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my supporters. And um, as you know, uh, the Tesla Autopilot features is, is like such a revolutionary thing and it's such a great features and it, it makes the car, car riding safer and much more pleasant. But the ultimate goal is the full self-driving, which by now we were supposed to have it uh, maybe last year. But of course, things take much longer, especially these things. I want to say a word about it in, at the end, what I think if it's ever going to come. But uh, Tesla has continued to release upgrades and updates and software updates uh, to make it better. And, and another update is coming soon, actually starting to be pushed out to recognize a uh, stop signs and to give you a, some kind of a chime not to stop yet uh, enhanced um, uh, uh, lane change and all that uh, and navigate an autopilot and, and on and on and on the ultimate goal is the full self-drive and uh, I got a question from one of my uh, uh, followers really great question is like what if the full self-driving never comes for whatever reason, will that will will it lead to a class lawsuit? And I thought that was such a great question, really a great question. So a lot of people paid five thousand, six thousand. Now it's seven thousand dollars for that, uh, um, for the full self drive. I paid back in the day five thousand dollars was called um, enhanced autopilot. Uh, that was the top feature because the full self drive was on and off. Now it's on again. So what I'm trying to say. The question is, what if, and I'm not talking about government, I'm talking about technology. What if full self-drive is not possible? What is Tesla to do? They're gonna return, give people their money back or a portion of it because you still have a lot of features. Uh, are people going to say, okay, well, I paid for that and I was, I was counting on that and I'm gonna sue Tesla? Uh, you know what? I don't know. I mean, obviously everything and anything is possible, but I really don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think, I, I, it's not what I think. I feel that full self-drive, the way Tesla features it, Tesla uh, um, sees it uh, to be as this car becoming fully autonomous and goes and pick people around and, and makes money for Tesla and, for, and, and the Tesla owner. I, I don't want to say I don't see it coming. I don't see it possible. I said it's not even close. And I hope I'm wrong. I just don't see it. I drive so much. I drive thousands and thousands of miles. Long trips, you name it. And it's hard for me to envision it. Uh, especially in parking lots. Especially in uh, construction zones. Especially in uh, four-way four-way stop signs you know that you know the guy tell you okay you go no you go you go I I'm, I'm not saying it's not possible I'm not but what I'm saying it is so difficult to have full self-drive now I can see the car does everything by itself with with a, a driver inside monitoring the situation and getting ready to react that I can see that's happening right now I mean most of the time when I'm the highway I let this car drive itself and I just, uh, you know, react when it needed. And I'm sure it can do the same thing in, in cities. But by itself, without a driver, going around from point A to point B, and overcoming what is the human interaction, meaning humans are going to, you know, human dictate a situation, like yielding or stopping or passing, or a car stops on the side on your lane and you need to, like, wait. You know what I mean? There are so many variables. I'm not saying it's not possible. It's hard for me to see it coming next year. You know, according to Tesla, uh, Tesla cars were supposed to go from coast to coast in 2015, I believe. We are in, at the end of 2019. So, will eventually Tesla will say, wait a minute, I paid thousands of dollars and I did not get full self-drive. What's going on? But, you know, define full self-drive. Is a full self-drive with the driver inside the car or it's full self drive without a driver in the, inside the car. 
it's a big difference. I, I would love to know what you think about this. Thank you guys for watching. Put your comments below. Give me a thumbs up. See you tomorrow.